Okay, we have here f of x is equal to, well, if x is even, we have x minus 1. If x is odd, then it corresponds to x plus 1. So we're going to put an x in there. So let's experiment with this a little. And first off, we have the idea that a and b are integers. The a corresponds here to the x. We plug in the number. b also and corresponds to an x. You're putting a number into the function, just a different number than a, or perhaps a different number. They can be the same. Equals a plus b. So for this to hold true, play around with things a little. Say, OK, well, if a is 2, which is even, this f of 2 turns out to equal 1, right? Plug the 2 in there, you get 1. Now, let's say b is 3. f of 3, 3 is odd. 3 plus 1 is 4. So there's f of 3 is equal to 4. So it's interesting. So what happens? Does this equal a plus b? Well, sure. 1 plus 4 is the same as 2 plus 3. And why is that? Well, when it was even, it went down 1. When it was odd, it went up 1. So the net gain is nothing. It's just the same as say a plus b. Therefore, one of these has to be odd. One of these has to be even. And so if you have an even and you add it to an odd, you're always going to get an odd. It doesn't matter if that a is odd or the b is odd. The idea is that one has to be even, one has to be odd, and therefore the sum, a plus b, has to be odd. And that is answer choice C.